At least that's the one that I, I remember knowing about. I might not even be describing it properly, but it was it was pretty much like that. And I was kind of thinking about that, but I'm like, you know what? It wouldn't really make much sense if I kept it, if I built it like that, because it would be too wide, and I don't know if it's gonna fit a structure block or fit two structure blocks, kind of thing, right? So I was like, mm, I'm gonna go stick with what I know, and I, I did. I stuck with what I knew, and I knew that this design would have worked very well. So I ditched it. Uh, the block palette, uh, is mine, uh, is of my design. I wanted something that was black, because no wheels. You know, a normal rubber tire, of course, is black, you know, to, because of the rubber. Um, and I think most of the design, I think, I'm trying to remember, yeah, I think most of the design I grabbed from somewhere else, Uh, the reason why I, I didn't give credit for something I didn't give credit for. The reason why I didn't really say anything about it is because, like, I technically changed it so much that it's probably way too different than what it is. Plus, I don't even remember where I got it from. So, I think the only thing that I did was I grabbed the tire. And I tried to make it as easy to slap on onto the thing as much as possible. And as soon as I did, I looked at it and went, wow. This kind of doesn't really look as good as I thought it would. So I kept uh, changing the design slightly over and over again, trying to get it to fit exactly what I wanted. So what it was supposed to be was that I was going to take this person's uh, actual... Not the full thing, but I was going to cut a little bit of it, and I was going to have my ship get slapped right on top of it. And I was just going to say, here it is. And I was actually going to give credit to the, the bottom area, because it, because I literally would have copied mostly the entire thing. So I, it's almost like I had to give credit for it. Well, I would have had to give credit for it. But then every time I tried to get it to work, it never really did fit what I wanted for it, so I kind of scrapped it. Then I just grabbed the wheels, and then I attempted that method. We all saw what that did, that created Reserical. And then I kind of just, and then I wanted to create a, a cockpit, or like, you know, like a normal area specifically for uh, the person to actually view where they're going. Now, originally, the part that I, I call the gallery, I don't even know if I actually ended up giving it an official name, but I call it the gallery. Uh, which is the area that has the uh, the barrier control and such. Uh, that's what I call the gallery. Uh, that area specifically was actually supposed to be the original cockpit. Back during when it was originally called Raza Base. That area specifically, I wanted to do a very cool design with, uh, with the stairs and the glass. But I could never get the interior to look good enough kind of thing for it so I sealed it off instead so I sealed it and then I kind of just went you know what it's sealed now uh, I'm just gonna almost dig it like pretend it wasn't even meant to be one and just left it as it is do that so I just left it as it is and just never really did bother to kind of say anything about it until now and then I changed that idea. So now it's just the gallery now, and I, I know it had to go through a different for a revisions. Look out. They've been circling for hours. I'm afraid not. Yeah, I kept uh, revisioning each and every time. And that's why if you go through that video, you'll actually see what it was uh, originally supposed to be. And then you'll also get to see it through the original Reva base. And I think... Did I ever actually show it off, though? I think it was a part of the original circuit craft. I think it was maybe the second or third session, somewhere around there, where I actually showed off the original versions of circuit craft. 
like the 1.13, the 1.14 world and all that such stuff. Yeah, I showed all of that off. And I think I showed off the original structure that was supposed to be the original web base. And I got rid of that and I, and I started building it and I started building it. And then by the time I got towards where I wanted to change the exterior enough so it actually fit like it could actually like physically move kind of thing from place to place. I got kind of bored, and I got kind of sick of like what, how it looked, and so I kind of just went, you know what, I'm done, and then I just ditched it there. I think I stayed in that base because it was the only area I had without having an elytra, because <laughs> I forgot my elytra at the at uh, Revacraft for like I think two Minecraft days I think before I got a friend of mine to just go and kind of just rescue me a little bit. Just put a water area underneath. And then after I picked up my Lytra, I just ended up getting rid of that water stuff. I cannot do that. Okay, we got some items now. Let's see if any of these are really good. I know I picked up got gloves are better. But yeah, like there was a lot of crazy shenanigans that happened on that server on Circuit Craft, and that's why when I when I heard from a lot of people who were wanting us to go and into playing uh, on Bedrock, I'm like, guys, we already like kind of already said this though, like we're not gonna play on Bedrock because Bedrock has a lot of things that are different, and I know I actually didn't know this until we ended up going with our sort of thing. Uh, you can't use command blocks or at the very least all of the command blocks that we had were all erased of all of their commands and when we tried to I, I don't remember did we try to use them or not I don't remember if we tried to use them and it and it didn't work or we just never tried it yes. to begin with But yeah, and then 1.14, uh, we I did we did a lot of crazy shenanigans. Uh, that was the first version where we tried to uh, actually make something specifically to help other people or just to sort of be part of a team kind of thing. That was the version where we created the uh, market mall, which is the building that we currently use as the market. Quite literally, we ended up making it during that whole entire shenanigans during 1.14, and then, uh, and then we were like uh, pretending, not pretending, but like we were threatening to raid the other members, kind of thing. So I kindly had to like go, you know what? I don't want to be get attacked, so I had to move my base, and that's where I kindly got uh, switched. So I, yeah, so pretty much that's when I started always moving my base towards really far away uh, from spawn. I know I originally had mine at like a thousand and eight hundred or something like that, which is really close to spawn than what I was normally used to. And then when I was getting threatened of being, attack, uh, being attacked, we wanted to create some kind of, you know, some kind of... Um, not anger, but like some kind of conflict kind of thing where we were pretending to attack each other kind of thing. But, we were, but pretty much what that meant was that they were going to destroy farms and such. Uh, like if you had like a wheat farm close to your base, they were going to destroy it, like that kind of thing. Now that's what we were mostly just saying, like, oh, we're going to destroy your base. It's like, no, not my wheat farm. I could no longer sit idly by while you brought the fight to Asmodan. It has been too long since I felt the thrill of battle myself. Destroying my siege weapons makes little difference. Every hour, 
the more of my forces pour forth from the mouth of hell. Soon, they will wipe your pathetic keep from existence. Brave words, Asmodan. But words are all you have left to hurl at us. Forward, yeah, yeah, friend. blah, blah, blah. Now we shall drive Asmodan's army back into the accursed crater. Together, we can defeat them. We okay, let's go. Victorious. So yeah, so that's when I ended up, uh, so when I was getting threatened by both of them, that they were going to be attacking my base, I went, well, okay, so I, this was before I started doing an actual, the, the smarter method of using a command block to do it. I had a structure block that was literally for air blocks to, t to shift over towards that kind of thing, and I told everyone that 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 doesn't count towards your structure block total because for your structure because of the fact that it's just air blocks, and it's just and if you're using it just to to pretty much clean the area kind of thing of your creation, then it's fine. Why are you here alone? All of my lads are dead, and I mean to see these bastards suffer for what they've done. Are you with me? Here they are! I cannot do that. But yeah, so like pretty much I ended up moving my base to uh, 50,000, negative 50,000. And I kind of just tried to find like a, an area around that sort of coordinates area specifically just to fit my base. And I ended up uh, trying to stick towards uh, having my, I think my ship over like a lake or like a river kind of thing. Of or not a river, mostly just a lake. Well, they're all dead and we're not. I'd call that a win, eh? I'll hold this bridge. Go on. You have a demon lord's head to put on a pike. Be careful. Oops. Oh, Captain. Sorry, I just need to figure out if I actually have anything I can upgrade to. So yeah, so I went and moved towards uh, that area. Found a little lake or something where I could put my, put my, uh, put. I think it was uh, Razacraft at that point. So I moved Razacraft over that area and then just. Stayed there for a little while, up until I think... I grabbed something, I forget what it was. It was Gas Tears, I think. I so one of them was like, oh, I'm coming to get you, kind of thing. Or no, he said right before I had to go somewhere, um, like, oh, I don't mind uh, buying them from you. And I said, okay, sure, why not? So I ended up keeping it somewhere where I knew where it was. And then I got word that he was actually coming to steal it instead of actually going to do it because he knew I was gone. So I kind of rushed. I rushed back and moved my uh, my base uh, slightly farther. And I kind of just ended up building like tiny outposts kind of thing on my way there. Uh, and by the time I finished, I was around... 500,000, negative 500,000. It took me about two days kind of thing to get all the way over there. And then I started building up my base around that area. And I was just lucky enough that I ditched my whole my ship to be over lake area to be uh, close to a village at that moment because I really wanted a village. Because I wanted to do some experiments with 1.14. And I did that. It was a lot of fun. Possible. I think everything else too. Yeah, because then I kindly just ended up doing that. Then I was doing a ton of experiments with everything else. And then we were hearing about uh, 1.15 and how everybody wanted to sort of go and get it. Because of course 1.15 was going to be the B update and everybody wanted it.
and then I think during, I think, I know it was after I moved to the 500,000, negative 500,000, where we're like, okay, we're going to go and do at least a little bit of experimenting with data packs. Uh, so I wanted to, uh, so I was doing, uh, so I was trying to research a little bit of what data packs can do. And then while looking through uh, one site, uh, I found something that I didn't know could actually be, a, be ha uh, can actually happen. Uh, we had a tree capitator, which was uh, which was actually originally a mod that could, uh, whenever you use an axe on the tree, it would break down the tree entirely. There was two different versions. This, is this my blood? Can't breathe. Not all deaths are easy, but peace will 